If you realized how powerful your thoughts were, you would never think a negative thought. Hey guys, welcome back to another Mind Right Monday. I'm your host, Bonnie Kelly. So that quote in the intro was actually said by the famous Peace Pilgrim. And she had said that if you recognized how powerful your thoughts were, you would never think a negative thought. Now, if you've never heard of the Peace Pilgrim, she has been on this 28-year-long walk where she is walking to help people discover a more meaningful and purposeful life. She is on a mission to raise awareness and just goes walking throughout the country, neighborhood to neighborhood, door to door, person to person, and spreading the message of peace and love. In 1953, she changed her name to the, um, from Milgrid to the Peace Pilgrim. And she's an inspiring woman that we actually wanted to start with that beautiful quote today. And we wanted to use her quote this, this week to inspire you in learning on how we can be able to start changing the way we think. Now, most of us actually walk around with a lot of negativity in our head that we're not smart enough or pretty enough or funny enough or talented enough or outgoing enough or or artsy enough. I mean, honestly, we are constantly thinking about what's wrong in the world, what's wrong with our families, what's wrong with us. We're thinking about what we don't have in this scarcity and this lack mentality. Yet, we're not recognizing that when we're focusing on all of this toxicity about where we fall short or what we don't have is that we are putting this energy and expanding and expanding it into manifesting or creating or energizing more of that which we do not want. And so when we recognize the power of our thoughts, when we recognize that how powerful the way that you think is, we can start to be more conscious and intentional about what it is that we're spending all of our energy and attention on. And when we can begin to start practicing those mindfulness tools, we can begin to start creating more joy and purpose and meaning and love in our life. The things that we're constantly seeking for outside of us can be discovered inside of us just even with this one idea of changing the way that we think. To help you do that this week, I'm gonna share with you three different ways that you can begin to start redirecting and refocusing that your thought patterns so we can enhance our mindfulness and start to create what you truly desire. All right, let's start with the first one, which is stay aware. Start to discover and know your thinking patterns. All right, guys, now this one is so important. You, you see, your brain likes to go on autopilot. In fact, it constantly wants to just go into the same o same so it cuts down on its processing time. It's estimated that 80% of your daily actions, including what we think about, are controlled by our unconscious or subconscious minds and programs. Well, believe it or not, a lot of that stuff's on autopilot and which means that a lot of what we think is redundant and is happening in our brains over and over again each day and in all ways. So we want to begin to start stretching our mindfulness. We want to become more aware of where are you putting your attention? Where are you putting your energy? And we can do that by scanning our thoughts. When we can begin to start scanning the, what we think and doing check-ins. And if you regularly checked in, I'm saying like, two, three times a day. You know, grab your cell phone, put it in your pocket, set an alarm, and just says, check in, tune in, check in, tune in. And when we can begin to be reminded, or put sticky notes everywhere, I don't care, just be reminded of, of this idea to scan your thoughts. What am I thinking? Where are my thoughts? What am I thinking? Where are my thoughts? If you did that three times a day for one week, guess what you're gonna notice? A pattern. And once we can identify the thought patterns, we're gonna clearly know and clearly understand where we're putting our attention and where we're putting our energy that does not serve us. And so we can become more intentional about redirecting our thoughts. All right, let's lead me to my next tip, which is time to course correct. If your thoughts are not in alignment with who you truly are and who you want to be, course correct them. All right, guys, seems simple enough, but it is so powerful. Just like I said, once we become aware of the direction, where are we wasting our energy with our toxic thoughts? Where is it subtly sneaking up? 
Where are our insecurities kind of sneaking in? And where are our doubt and our fear and all of these things they're brewing in this pot off to the side? Where are we putting all of this energy? Once we are able to start to recognize that, we can course correct and start to say, whoa, that thinking does not serve me. It's not in alignment with who I desire to be. It's not in alignment with where I want to go. It's not in alignment with what I want to have. And because I get to choose, I get to choose where I put my thoughts. I don't know about you, but I sure as heck am not going to put them in this evil boiling pot of ick. I'm going to start putting them over here in my paradise. And you know what my paradise is? Joy and gratitude and thankfulness in abundance. All of that is my choice to think. I can recognize that the world's got some toxicity, that I have some limitations, that there's darkness around me, but I can also recognize there's compassion and humanity and that there is love and connection and that there is things that are flourishing and people that are flourishing. And I can choose to place my energy in either one. And so when you recognize that your thoughts are not in alignment, time to course correct into a better way. All right, this leads me to my third and final one today, which is get intentional about affirming and reframing what you desire. All right, guys, so this is one of my favorite words is the power of intention. And if you haven't read that book by Dr. Wayne Dyer, it's an oldie, but it sure is a goodie. So pull it off the shelf, go grab a copy on Amazon, dust it off and open those bad boy up because it's got some great, great, great insight into the power of intention. And when we can be more intentional about what it is that we're thinking and what it is that we're affirming and what it is that we're creating, when we can start to focus that intention, we can then constantly be flooded and constantly be creating all that you desire. Now, at the end of the day, you may desire to have more money or to have a better car or to have a better house or to have a better partner, whatever it is, okay? But underneath all of that, when you start to strip the outer layers, really what you're looking for is maybe meaning, purpose, joy, or happiness. All of that can be created inside of you right now. All of that can be affirmed right now. And so though you want to put your attention into creating these outer things, let's start aligning our affirmations with what you have control of right now in this moment and start to affirm that I am joyful. I am happy. Now there's a part of you that's going to say, no, you're not. Now we got to course correct. Okay. I choose to be happy even though I don't always feel happy. I choose to be optimistic even though I see pessimistic stuff. I choose, I feel, I am, I have. We begin to affirm that which it is that we desire. We begin to put our energy and our creative thoughts into what it is that we desire. And the more that you repeat that and the more that you continue to affirm that and the more that you continue to energize that, this becomes your norm. This becomes your status quo. This becomes the reality that you desire. And no more of this. So if you are hearing my words today, I want you to take this advice, start to scan your thinking, begin to examine where you are allowing toxicity to lead and course correct into a better, more divine version of you. You are more than capable. You are stronger than you give yourself credit for. And I know and truly believe in you. Now, if you need support and you need help along the way, reach out. You have communities, you have groups maybe available to you, or you can connect with my office at any time. So we are here to serve you every step of the way. And honestly, I've been there. I have courses and classes and workshops and events and retreats that have your name written all over them. So if you're watching this and you're saying, gosh dang it, I'm ready to step into a better version of me, then call us today. All of our contact information can be found right on the website, bonniekelly.me. All right, until next week, I'm Bonnie Kelly.
Hey guys, did you enjoy this week's video? I sure hope so. If you're ready to start making some moves and grooves right now in your life and you're not quite ready to reach out to us directly, you need to snag a copy of our 21 Day Emotional Detox Program. You can start today for free and get seven full days of my 21 Day Program where you can start to eliminate some of this toxicity to begin to practice tools that will help you be more mindful in eliminating the toxicity of the mind. If you want to grab that right now, it's available to you no matter what time zone you're in. So go ahead and grab it with the link below. And until next time, I'm Bonnie Kelly. That was one of my favorites. That was a good one. And it's 15 minutes. 15 minutes.